Liam, a 2-1 victory, you must be uh, really pleased with the way in which we gritted that, that win out in the end and, and just to, to get the three points on the back of three points on Boxing Day. Yeah, there was always going to be a tough tough game today on the back that we've, you, we took six out the previous two, uh, but I, I thought it did what it did show, uh, it showed an abundance of team spirit and it, it showed a, a bit more experience coming into a relatively young squad and how to manage a game, how to kill a game off and even when you're killing the game off we, we, we kept the fact that we looked dangerous which uh, which is always probably a trademark of my size you know you try and counter attack teams and uh, we did it and it you know looked good but you know, the poor poor penalty decision for me gives them a chance to root back in in a game where they weren't really ever in it so you know but you, that's what you get from Billy's teams you, you know they'll give up they'll never give up they'll always be strong they'll be organized they'll be direct they'll be dangerous and, and, and they were everything that but you know we handled the set plays really well. I must be pleased with Jason Gilchrist scores really early on gets the goal um, we start the game with the second goal sort of just on the stroke of half time get the goals at the right time but as you say Alfredson up and in your face and often can be very difficult and um, to see that out is, a, is another sort of step and milestone in terms of the team's progression since we played them back in August. Yeah, I, th I think that sums Gilly up to be honest. He's probably the only person on the pitch who would have anticipated and got the end of it. It's finished it great. He also done a lot, awful lot of unselfish work. Uh, and again, a bit like Chester when, it, when he plays. I thought when he played, we played. Uh, MD on and Brad against Chester were very, very good. And we had spells today where they were very, very good. Uh, Jack led the line fabulously. Uh, and you know, as I said, so did Jordan against Chester. So it's great to have really good options for me. Um, you know, Devine come on today was very bright. Uh, but as I said, Andy Parry was the one who, for me, when the game was going, looked like it was getting a bit nervy. Him coming on actually made us a lot stronger and a lot better. Talk about the options, you, the ability to make those changes. You sort of put three in the midfield, just seemed to steady us up and um, have the, the two wide lads breaking with the pace and a bit, bit of liveliness. It just seemed to really sort of take the sting out of the Alfreton attack just at the right time. Well, I actually thought our two wide players were sat too deep, encouraging them on. Uh, so, in effect, bring, bringing Andy on. You know, we, we in effect lose defensive sides down the flanks, but we actually put better options going forward. You know, Devan and Dion were told to stay up front. You know, they weren't just you know right and left. They were drifting in. They were interchanging. Uh, you know, Dion's had a couple of runs. Devan's skinned the left back a couple of occasions. So, you know, on that, really, really pleased. So, you know, it, it, it's a big three points, massive three points, because actually closes the gap. All of a sudden, teams above us are now looking below us, uh, and people will be a little bit anxious about facing us. December. It's been three wins and a draw in, in the league. It's been, a, it's been a very good month in terms of performances and productivity because the draw came away at the league leaders at the time, Bradford Park, haven't you? So it's been, it's been a really strong month. But as the month closes, obviously the question mark will come around sort of incomings and outgoings, players that potentially return from loan and players that we've got in their back. In terms of the players that, that have come on loan and, and played such a big part in this recent run, um, can you give us any update on where you're at with those? Oh, Regan Ogle's just signed his is loan to the rest of the season. Uh, the others, it all sounds positive. So uh, hopefully we, we can get them all done and dusted by. Uh, well, the, the, whatever happens, New Year's, New Year's Day, whatever. So they're all in till six or seven. So we've got time to get them sorted. Uh, good thing about them, that, you know, they, they actually have enjoyed the time. They're getting lots of games and they're getting great experience. They're developing as players. Uh, so, you know, I don't anticipate a big, big issue with it. But you know, the good, the pleasing thing is, you know, they want to be here. Three or four players that are also out on loan elsewhere. Do you know where we stand with those? Well, they're all up in January. Uh, Doyley has been at Droylston, and Andy Hollands has been at and uh, Josh Langley's at Altrincham, and Dan Cochrane's at Ensford. So, uh, I don't really know where the clubs are where they're up to with them uh, but that'll be dealt with I presume in the next week or so uh, and again probably then players have got questions to ask themselves as well. As you move forward to Chester New Year's Day uh, return fixture I mean, I've been up to at the Boxing Day match your thoughts on that one? I said that you know Chester have got two good managers they're both proven proven winners now uh, not just one club now it's at three clubs uh, they'll have them organised they'll have them right uh, they've got good players and I know that you might turn around that they're on the back of thingy a couple of defeats but you swap places with them now wouldn't you you know where they are and I think you know as I said they've had to put a, a squad together at the start of the season so I know I know 
in fact it'll be a very very difficult game be a difficult afternoon for us but well we've got to do and try and make it make it a difficult afternoon for them and hopefully we'll travel well there they thought the supporters got right behind us at the right times today and the support's been great in recent weeks well as i said you know i, I always go back to 2003 for John and said it time and time again and it's trying to galvanise the fans back with the team and, and I said it's coming I can feel it and I can feel them behind us I can feel whether it's the stand whether it's the jack car end or whatever you can feel it grow and when we're under pressure you earn the voices coming up and you know it's what it's what this good club's about and you know everyone knows once we get it right if we get it right in the change room we have the right people the right spirit get them around the club get our identity back we know we'll go places but we've got to get this right and you know as much as the the team are doing it, the fans are doing it as well.